This atheist just drove to work and has a question for some of my Muslim friends here on TikTok. In fact, some of my married Muslim friends. Here's my question. What happens if your partner leaves the Islamic faith? If your partner comes to you and says, I don't believe in Islam anymore, I'm not Muslim anymore, but I want to make our marriage work, what happens? Maybe that's more than one question. Maybe the two questions are, what would you do? And the other question is, what does Islam say you should do? In today's video, we will discuss the topic of apostasy in Islam and its implications on marriage. According to Islamic teachings, a Muslim who changes their religion from Islam is considered an apostate, known as a murtad. It is important to note that marriage with such a person is completely prohibited and considered haram or unlawful. Renowned Islamic scholar Shaykh Mufti Muhammad Shafi explains in his famous commentary Ma'ariful Quran that if a Muslim rejects Islam and becomes a Christian or a Jew, they will not be considered Ahul Kitab, people of the book, with whom marriage is allowed. Instead, they are classified as apostates. It is unanimously agreed upon by scholars that consuming meat from animals slaughtered by such individuals is also prohibited. Imam al qurtubi narrates a hadith recorded by Imam Muslim and Abu Dawud, which states that during the time of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, a Jewish man accepted Islam and later reverted back to Judaism. As a consequence, he was punished for apostasy. As mentioned earlier, anyone who leaves Islam to embrace another religion is immediately considered an apostate. Even if they have converted to Christianity, apostasy is still applicable as they have abandoned their faith and pledged allegiance to another religion. Apostasy is a grave offence in the sight of Allah and carries severe punishments in this world and the hereafter. The Holy Quran states, And whosoever of you turns away from his religion of Islam and dies as a disbeliever, then his deeds will be lost in this life and in the hereafter, and they will be the dwellers of the fire. They will abide therein forever. Surah al-Baqarah, verse 217 Commentators of the Holy Quran explain that the phrase his deeds will be lost in this life entails the following consequences. 1. Marriage will be automatically and immediately dissolved due to the apostasy of one spouse. 1. The apostate will not inherit from the wealth of a Muslim. 1. The acts of worship performed as a Muslim, such as salah, prayer and fasting, will be rendered null and void. 1. The funeral prayer, Salah al Janaza will not be offered for the apostate, and they will not be buried in a Muslim cemetery. The phrase, lost in the hereafter, means that the apostate will not benefit from any good deeds performed in this world. They will be condemned to the eternal fire of hell. The jurists, known as Fukaha, have outlined three major causes of apostasy. 1. Rejecting a well-established law agreed upon by the Muslim community, such as denying the obligatory nature of salah, fasting, zakah, or hajj. Similarly, rejecting the prohibition of intoxicants and interest, riba, or denying the Holy Quran as the words of Allah. Any of these rejections can lead to apostasy. 2. Doing the actions and practices of the non-Muslims or unbelievers, for example, prostrating before an idol and adopting the modes of worship of the non-Muslims. 3. Disassociating oneself from Islam through the act of giving up, leaving the religion of Islam, or to insult, revile, or abuse Allah, the Prophet Muhammad, or Islam. Apostasy, therefore, means that one has turned away from Islam voluntarily through his clear expression of disbelief that he is no longer a Muslim, or through words that describe this act or practices that imply his rejection of Islam. When one of the spouses apostates and turns away from Islam, then a separation occurs between them without the need for a divorce. There is no need for the Qadi, Islamic judge, to cause this separation. Instead, this marriage will dissolve automatically and will be annulled. This is according to Imam Abu Hanifa, Abu Yusuf, and the famous opinion of the Malikai scholars. It is also the preferred statement of the Maliki scholars that the separation due to apostasy is a divorce. The scholars of the Shafi and Hanbali Majab have stated that when apostasy takes place in the marriage, one will wait until the idda, waiting period, of the woman comes to an end.
This is a period of three months from the time one rejected Islam. If the apostate re-accepts Islam before the waiting period comes to an end, then both of the spouses will continue in their marriage, since both will be Muslims. If the apostate does not re-accept Islam, and the waiting period comes to an end, then the woman will automatically be divorced, with an irrevocable divorce, from the time one rejected Islam. It means that the irrevocable will occur on its own without the husband giving it, and will be regarded as having been issued since the spouse rejected Islam. Thank you for watching this video on apostasy and Islam and its impact on marriage. I hope this video clearly answers the questions asked by Alan Mount in his TikTok video. Until next time, peace be upon you.